welcome back to Atlantic Firearms. I'm Blaine. And I'm Matt. Today we're taking a look at the WBP Polish barrel style rifle. And that's B-E-R-Y-L. These rifles are based on uh, brand new Polish parts and production uh, here in the U.S. with some barrel style features. Yep. Now this rifle starts out with the Polish hammer forged barrel in 762 by 39 just like Blaine has here. It's a very nice feature. This is probably the uh, most sought after barrel stateside right now. Been, been very accurate. Uh, at least uh, the clients that have been shooting these rifles recently have been uh, very pleased. Yeah, with very pleased with it and claimed some nice accuracy uh, with it. And the cold hammer forge means it's very durable, just like the classic European barrels. This is also a U.S. shell or re receiver by Childers. This starts out as a Polish shell. So this is Polish steel that's final, finally built into a receiver here stateside. It has traditional Polish markings on it. And uh, that coupled with the barrel make for a great core of the rifle. As well as the all new uh, Polish WBP parts. Also, you'll notice that there is a Circle 11 military forged trunnion on this production series. Uh, that's coming in. They are sourced from uh, WBP Poland and they do supply them with the rest of the parts you know, for the build. So there's a lot of customers uh, really like that idea of having that military grade trunnion in the weapon. Definitely. And uh, while you're in that same area, I mean, there's a really nice Polish Eagle marking on the rear sight base as well that uh, we've chosen to highlight there. It's, you know, very attractive and it gives you that Again, the Polish. It's a little bit, yeah. It gives it a little bit more uh, pop. The sights, while we're talking about it, they are also highlighted, uh, so it gives it a little bit better cosmetic appeal. Uh, clients tend to like it, and as Matt mentioned, the uh, the select and fire markings are Polish markings that Childers has done. Those are highlighted also. Yep, that's very nice features, and there's a, you know, plenty more good features too with this gun, like the enhanced safety selector, this nice shelf here. This is a. Uh, makes things very comfortable for function, as well as the enhanced magazine release. This is a paddle style release, and it's a bit wider than the standard one, so it's very comfortable. This gun also has a barrel style over the top rail system. This rail system is very unique to these, uh, to the barrel rifles, and also here through WBP. This rail comes off for, for you know standard maintenance, and there's a channel in the front and this cam in the back where you basically unlock this and then you can lift this up. And once you've lifted the rear sight up and then removed the top cover, you can take this rail entirely off. And I'll go ahead and do that real quickly. While Matt's doing that, this is a military grade and military proven rail system. Um, and it is very rock solid. A lot of the systems that we've seen in the past have been somewhat flimsy, especially due to the attachment part in the rear. That's correct. But this is rock solid, not going anywhere, uh, doesn't get yeah. any better than this, and uh, basically military grade and proven. Right, it's just like the, the barrel rifle for Polish military. You can see here on the back, there's a locking tab for where the rail actually locks into, and then there's our, there are cuts in the rear sight base so that this stays right where it's meant to be. Um, also on this rifle, there is a side optic rail mount as well uh, for those that, you know, would prefer the side optic rail mount. Instead, you can remove the top rail and just run the side rail mount. And some clients might think that that's a little bit overkill, but we thought that it'd be good just to go ahead and give you that option should you want to be able to use an RS Regulate mount or another mount that might be on the market instead of using this down the road. So it provides you with uh, a lot of flexibility. The, uh, the, the guns are shipping with the uh, WBP uh, clear magazines, which are another nice uh, feature to have, so that way you can see how many rounds you have left in the weapon. Now, uh, another feature is uh, the uh, Archer style brake on the end yes. that's mirrored after the original Archer brake. Looks uh, just like the original one, and it's a U.S. part for compliance. Uh, also, I'll point out that the barrels are 14 by 1 left-hand thread. So if you want to switch this brake out with another one, you can. Yep. Uh, the guns do come with a bayonet lug on them. Now, you won't be able to install the bayonet with this style brake, but if you put a slant brake on there, mm -hmm. you could install a bayonet should you desire to do that. 
it was another feature that we tried to build into the gun so it gave you the ultimate flexibility with the weapon down the road on what you might want to do with it. Yep, and uh, probably the final thing for flexibility is this buttstock. This, as I'm holding this rifle here, is the way that it will be sold. And this is with the standard fixed stock. This fixed stock has been trimmed ever so slightly at the top to work with this, um, this specific rail trunnion. And uh, you can install the collapsing stock here that Blaine has on his also in this same receiver. You just get these parts and swap it out. It's actually relatively easy to do. And you could also use other AK stocks if you want. You would just need to slightly modify them to work with the trunnion. So ultimately the, the base platform you see here gives you a lot of flexibility to customize the rifle if you want. Again, if you want to go with this Polish style stock or another yeah. style stock. So uh, for uh, clients that have been giving uh, us a lot of input on what they'd like to see in a weapon, this is kind of what's coming out. It's another evolution in the Polish uh, design series uh, that we've been offering with the help of WBP Poland. Um, and uh, we're really pleased to announce it. Hope to continue to see the uh, rifle series grow. If you're interested in other uh, Klasnikov based rifles, you can visit our website on the left hand side. There's an AK-47 and AK-74 section where you can see this rifle and more. Hey guys, Matt here at Atlantic Firearms today with Atlantic Arms barrel style rifle. This is a nice offering from Atlantic. We're going to uh, play with it a little bit here at the range, see how it runs.